Hi, in the previous tutorial, we talked about the nine different types of steel that exist. We also talked about the SAE four-digit standard, which is the way that these different types of steel are classified based on a numerical system. Now, in this video, I want to focus on just carbon and I want to delve into the properties of this particular material, which is number one. Now, carbon steel um, is basically a mixture or alloy that's almost completely made up of iron. So it has up to 2.06% carbon and up to 1.65% manganese, as well as a couple other impurities. Now that means that carbon steel, you can safely say, is about 98% iron. And the amount of carbon in it determines the strength and ductility. If you have a low carbon steel, then it's almost completely comprised of iron. It has less than 0.25% carbon. And so this is the most ductile of the steels, of carbon steels, because it has such a small amount of the carbon content. The higher the carbon content, the harder that material becomes, but the less ductile it becomes. Now, over here, you can see that there's a gradient all the way at the bottom, you have the soft uh, parts, nails, pipe, and wire. They're very ductile, but they're not very hard. Up here at the top, you have die punches, milling cutters, springs. You also have injection molding tools, just like tool steel, which is used to make injection molding tools. And it has more than 0.8% carbon in it, which means that it's a very hard material and there's less iron in it. Now the other thing to keep in mind is that manganese, phosphorus, silicon, and sulfur are all, are all impurities and they change um, the ability for the material to be machined. Now the amount of carbon is what they use to kind of uh, decide that strength of the material. So hopefully this acts as a primer to carbon steel and the different properties of it. Thank you.